So this weekend, while I was strongly campaigning, a lot stronger than a certain Kamala, I saw a movie which has been very controversial because it's a very it's a disgraceful movie. It's called The Apprentice, which I thought, oh, this is probably very complimentary because I had a show, which many people consider, a lot of people, maybe the greatest show in the history of television. And watching this movie, it was very nasty. It was very nasty. And a lot of studios were afraid to purchase it because they correctly, okay, normally the radical left in Hollywood are very stupid, but they were very smart on this because they correctly assumed that I would conduct a sort of, uh, you know, purge and violent and economic war against whichever studio uh, endorsed it when I become president, which is totally in line with the Constitution and the founding. You know, the Second Amendment was basically put in our Constitution in case people make nasty movies. You know, they, they were very smart, the founding fathers, even though movies maybe didn't necessarily sort of exist in a classical sense. They still knew to put a Second Amendment in in case movies did exist. And then a president could attack people with Second Amendment if they make nasty movies. Now, the director of this movie is a guy called Ali, very interesting already, Abbasi. And they say he's Danish, but also Iranian. How about that? What a shocking, uh, what a shocking uh, turn of events that a nasty person would make a nasty movie. And that's why we're banning Danishes from all bakeries and running. Not only are we going to put in a, a ban on Iranians because it's Iran, we're going to ban running and we're going to ban Danishes because this filmmaker has to be stopped in all areas. And we're watching this movie, okay, and first of all, the guy playing me is a person named Sebastian Stan. So he probably does voter fraud because he probably walks in and says, hello, I'm Sebastian Stan. They say, right this way. And then he walks in in the afternoon and they look at his name differently because he has two first names, which is a perfect uh, way to do voter fraud. And he probably says, hello, no, I'm Stan Sebastian. I go, never heard of you. Please do voter fraud for Koala Bear Harris. Thank you. So he did a horrible version of me. He's a lot shorter and a lot less talented than me. And they make up this fiction about some guy with AIDS named Ray Cohn or whatever his name was. And I never met this person. I don't know who he was. I, you know, we, we heard things maybe about him, that he was a nasty guy, talented but nasty, but I don't know him. And there were other people in the movie. Uh, Fred Trump, never heard of him. And it was just a total fabricate. The only thing they got right, the only thing they got right was I did sexually assault my first wife, uh, Ivana. Uh, and that was, no, no, excuse me. It was technically right, but I lasted a lot longer than they showed in the movie, okay? And that, and that's the thing. Even when they're showing strong dominance like that, they still have to make me look bad. And the truth is, and you can ask it, well, she's buried in my golf course, but we could dig her up and we could ask her right now because she'll say, Donald lasted a lot longer when he pinned me to the ground. And I would say, thank you, darling, back in your golf grave. So it's a horrible movie. We will take vengeance and also strong legal action and also possibly violence with peace, of course, uh, if this movie uh, continues to be played. And, you know, some people are saying, sir, this sounds like, like a, a dictatorship or a third world. No, but excuse me, the founders gave us permission with Second Amendment. So it's not like one of these countries where it's like you've offended me, like my friend Kim Jong-un who, you know, would probably put the director in front of a tank and blow him apart with a tank. I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm just calling for more measured and more reasonable Second Amendment peaceful violence against the director. So The Apprentice, the show, great show. The Apprentice, the movie, a disgraceful, horrible thing uh, that will lead to uh, probably deportations and violence and uh, other things because it's a nasty movie and you have to if you don't fight against a nasty movie they'll walk all over you okay so don't see that a movie it's horrible and uh, back to campaigning and talking about uh, immigrants uh, eating pets bye bye